I'm Joachim Knill and I'm from Hannibal, Missouri. Basically do installation art. This one became like an interactive piece that people can actually go in and enjoy as a whole thing and the, the people buying pieces out of it becomes part of the performance part of the installation. The concept of it is how cultural treasures get shipped out and sold off and they change hands. And so this is like a shipping crate where somebody took this portrait room from an old culture and, and shipped it off and then it took, changed hands. It went to like a kingdom and then a revolutionary authority and then a, a military authority and now it's being sold off. And so a lot of cultural treasures get sold off and people buy the parts and historically you kind of lose the context of what the pieces were about. And so I picked European culture because we're familiar with it, but I use stuffed toy animals because they're objectifications and we all have a relationship to them. So it's kind of similar to things that from other cultures where you go like, oh, look how cute what they made. And then people will buy them because they like the piece, but you don't know what the history was. And each piece will, will looks like it was some event or some famous person, like a portrait of a royalty or like some some peasant scene or a famous battle from that culture, but we don't know what the story was. And so you kind of become the historian and has to kind of figure out what might have happened. And you're never really sure what the story was. But so when people buy pieces out of it, it's, it's just like when cultural pieces get taken out of context and then they become part of uh, our culture. Like most of our culture is like pieced together from other cultures. And a lot of it, generally people don't really know where things came from like clothing designs or house styles or or music like all the music we listen to is made up of all kinds of different cultural references but most people wouldn't know like what they are. Originally it was an installation idea for a photograph and I wanted this shipping crate that has this old portrait room in it that's like abandoned in a, in a warehouse somewhere and um, it took years of like thinking about it and then eventually I had to come up with what's actually what is the culture what are the images in there and, and as a kid I had a lot of stuffed toy animals I actually had a book of maps where they lived and drawings of their houses and there were some portraits in there that I made and then I was like well that's actually the, the perfect culture to use because it's a made-up culture it's not a specific one so it's it's more of a general statement that way. The paintings are all oil paintings on birch panel with a traditional technique. So it's a traditional gesso and oil paint and, uh, and the damar varnish. And I make them, the color choices and technique I use is so it looks like the old European paintings. So when you look at them, you, you kind of think of them like, oh, that looks like an old European painting, but, but it's from a different culture of stuffed toy animals. I just always made art. I, don't, I didn't really start as kind of born. <laughs> making art in one way or another but it was never just painting or sculpture I just played around with stuff all the time and then when I actually went to art school I decided to um, learn everything I didn't know so I wouldn't be limited by a medium and so I actually didn't do any painting in art school I ended up welding and doing ceramics and pretty much everything you can imagine it ended up helping me because I could come up with a concept and do all the parts so I could build the the whole crate and do the welding for the metal parts and make a chandelier and the furniture in there and everything so I, I, I could have an idea and I wouldn't be like oh what could I make this as a painting it's like well it doesn't have to be a painting it can be anything and I just I usually have conceptual ideas and then I find a way to turn it into some kind of a reality it usually ends up being mixed media <laughs> right now I'm really into the, the whole experience of a piece and so it's, it's it's like something you get immersed in you go in and it's like a whole world and not just a, a flat thing on the wall or one piece of ob one object